Hey, how's it going? I was in California and while I was there, I got to go on a whale watching tour. And you know, I thought, oh, we're gonna go on this boat and you know, we probably won't see a whale. It's just a nice trip to go out on the water, but will we really see a whale? We really did, we really did. And it was pretty fun and pretty exciting. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my trip in California out to go see whales and dolphins. So keep watching. This is Balboa Village in Newport Beach, California. And from this town, we're going to take a boat to go whale watching and dolphin watching today. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, this pavilion that you're seeing now was built in 1905 and some of these buildings were present in 1905 and this building that's straight ahead is the building where we're going to depart from to go whale watching and this town of Balboa Village in Newport Beach is definitely a beach town you see a lot of restaurants and shops where you can buy t-shirts and souvenirs. And it seems like there are a lot of really fun things to do. Right here, you can get carnival food like cotton candy, funnel cakes, churros. We got some churros here, I love churros. And you see all this kind of beach food like pizza. And then they have donuts and of course, ice cream and Italian ice and things like that and then these rides they have these rides that you can ride on this reminds me of the New Jersey Shore a little bit um, in New Jersey we have a lot of beach towns that have a lot of these kind of rides that you can ride on and our beach towns have a lot more than this but it this kind of reminds me a little bit of New Jersey and there's an arcade there where the kids can go in and play games uh, and it's just it's beautiful and it's fun and it seems like there's a lot of things to do and you always see people on bikes riding around this area and to the right here you're going to see a ferry this is a ferry where you can take your car across the water to uh, Balboa Island It's time to board the boat. We are going on this boat for two hours. The boat is going to take us out onto the open ocean and we're hoping that we'll be able to see some whales today. I think we'll definitely see some dolphins, but we're kind of hoping that we'll see some whales. Um, we're trying to find a spot up here, but because of COVID, a lot of the benches are marked off there doesn't seem to be a place to sit but I'm sure we'll find something okay everybody uh, good afternoon and welcome aboard the Ocean Explorer my name is Larry I'm gonna drive the boat around here today I've got uh, my A team for my crew here we've got outstanding crew here today we've got Tanner and Angela and they're gonna make sure everybody is well taken care of on this trip but before we go any further, I need about two minutes of your time to go over the safety equipment as the Coast Guard requires me to do. And all of your adult and child life jackets are located underneath the bench seats inside the galley. We're going to be getting to the open ocean here in about three minutes, four minutes. Wow, it's really quite windy and the water is really choppy. Very windy out here today. Ah, 
wow, this is a parasailer. Always wanted to try that. Notice right away that they like playing with the boat. And the reason why they do that is our boat creates an invisible wave underwater and they like riding the wave. So if you guys actually look straight down underneath the boat, they're going to be riding right under the boat. So look straight down and you'll see them swimming right under the boat. That's called bow riding. And they bow ride because they get that free ride. And there's a lot of babies in here, tons and tons of babies. And every one of these dolphins could tell the difference between a boy and a girl simply by using their sonar device. And you might hear their sonar device down there, folks. If you hear a whistle or a click, those are the sonar devices. Yeah, this is, might be even a maternity pod here. This is a lot of little babies in here. Interestingly enough, these dolphins, for you family members here, uh, they stick with their moms for three years long time. The other three types of dolphins we do see here in the area are Pacific white-sided dolphins, bottlenose dolphins, and uh, uh, Rizzo dolphins. But these are the guys we see most often. These are kind of our bread and butter. The only reason why they're here, folks, is to feed. That's it. There's no other reason for these animals to be here. They are feeding. See them stretching all the way off towards the front of the boat, and there are some still following back behind us. So for every one that we are seeing at the surface, we are estimating there's a bonus five or six down below. We're only seeing a very small fraction of the pod at any given time. So we're going to have to sit here for a minute and wait him out. Of course, every part of whale watching does involve a little bit of whale waiting. 12 o'clock. He's only about 35 to 40 feet in length, not fully grown. But another easy way to tell the difference is uh, as you look closely right behind the eye, you'll see that they have an ear flap, just like us. They have a little ear appendage. They've got that. It's a sea lion. I can't believe these views out on the water. The sun is setting and it just becomes more and more amazing as we go. It's just beautiful out here on the open ocean, uh, gorgeous sunset, gorgeous views, beautiful. We've been out here on the open ocean for nearly two hours now and we're heading back into the harbor and what an amazing experience seeing the dolphins up close. They're beautiful, playful creatures and the whale, wow, I really can't believe that we saw one. All right, everybody, welcome back here to Newport Beach Harbor and Davies Locker. I hope you guys enjoyed your uh, trip here this evening. I, it was a, just a gorgeous evening. One of the ones, this is just amazing how nice it was all day here. Wow, wow, what a trip! What a trip! 
That was very exciting. They never know what they're going to see. So it was pretty amazing that we got to see so many dolphins and dolphins with the babies and the babies jumping out of the water. They said that this is really unusual to see the babies jump out of the water and to see the whale and see the whale jump out of the water. How exciting. I mean, I really didn't expect very much and I got way more out of this trip than I ever thought. Uh, it was amazing to see these animals up close. And I plan to do more videos like this in the future, so if you liked it, hit subscribe. I do love to share about my culture and experiences here. It's fun for me. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Have a great day.